boy oh boy guys was I thrown for a loop today. So I was just doing some casual research in my free time, you know, like everyone does, and I stumbled across the Nobel Prize page for 1903. The main reason I clicked on it was because I saw Marie Curie. I had always grown up in school with the notion that she was the one who discovered radioactivity, and she died because of her experiments, you know, total thug life, putting her life on the line for the sake of science, etc. So I want to know more about her and what she did specifically. So I click. When I get to the page, I see she split the prize with her husband, Pierre, which I kind of vaguely remember, so I wasn't really surprised by it. But what I was surprised to see was this little one-fourth next to her and her husband's prize share. And lo and behold, right next to the two of them is this other guy I had never heard of before. His name is... Yeah, I had to look up that pronunciation. I'm guessing his name is Antoine Becker Becquerel, I guess? Whatever, I'm not good with pronunciations. But there's a one half next to his name, and I'm like, dang, this guy has twice as much of the prize as the Curies. Why? So I click on his name, and I read through his bio. Turns out, I was wrong the whole time. This guy was the one who discovered radioactivity. Apparently, he was discussing why things would glow when exposed to x-ray radiation, because x-rays were a new thing back in the day, and he wanted to learn more about it. So he brought in some of his uranium salts to the lab, because they were known to also glow when exposed to the light. He left the salts next to the photographic plate for an extended period of time, and you know, after all this time passed, he noticed that the photographic plate used to capture the x-ray images was actually capturing an image of the uranium salts without the x-ray even turned on. I mean, how crazy is that? He didn't even intend to discover the radioactivity in uranium. He just happened to do the right thing by accident. Anyways, after my mind was blown by that, I went back to Marie Curie's page because I was thinking, well, what did she and Pierre do if they didn't actually discover radioactivity? So after some digging, I found that they were studying Be Becker- oh, here we go again. Becquerel radiation? I'm just gonna commit to Becquerel. Oh yeah, by the way, how crazy is that? He got all of radioactivity named after him. That's a real authority statement right there. But anyways, the Curies were scanning different minerals for signs of radioactivity when they stumbled upon pitch blend. Okay, I had to look that up too. I didn't know what pitch blend was. But apparently it's a mineral that contains mainly uraninite, which is basically just uranium and oxygen bonded together usually like this or like this, but it also contains two highly radioactive elements that were unknown at the time. The Curies noticed that there had to be something more radioactive than uranium in the pitch blend because, weirdly, the pitch blend was even more radioactive than pure uranium after extracting it from the pitch blend. So after breaking down the mineral, they discovered and named two new elements, polonium and radium. I may be wrong about this, but from what I interpreted from this article, they initially thought the polonium was bismuth? and the radium was barium because they behaved similarly to those respective elements or something like that. So yeah, guys, my mind has been completely blown. My whole life, I thought Marie Curie discovered radioactivity. Although I've been misinformed, it doesn't change my view on how epic of a person she was. I think most chemists have a life dream of adding an element to a periodic table or even winning the Nobel Prize. And not only did she add two elements in the same year, but she also won two Nobel Prizes. And also, I was happy to learn of the real discoverer of radioactivity. It was a good reminder that a lot of scientific progress happens through accidental discoveries like that. But more importantly, I'm just glad to know the whole truth so that names like that are not forgotten and credit is given where it's due. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my rambling to all the experts watching. Did I get everything right? If not, drop a comment so we can all learn more about the topic. At the end of the day, that's what we're here to do. Learn together. Be sure to like and subscribe, and hopefully we can learn something new tomorrow.